Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some polishes I picked up at Walmart. These are the Color Club polishes. I have the set of the Poptastic formula. I think they were done in 2015. Then I have one more from another collection and these are creams. Then I have some three of the mood changing. I have one matte and two glitters. Um, for the polishes, I've already started to swatch because I really didn't realize that my camera wasn't recording. So I have four on here that I've already swatched, but this is only one coat. So I'll come back to these and show you what they look like and tell you what I think about those. But we're going to go ahead and get started with the other ones and I'll just show you what they look like. So the first one here is called Feathered Hair Out to There. This is a bright pastel pink cream. Um, this is one coat already done on the swatch of this one. The formula on this one was a little streaky to start off with, but it actually leveled itself out pretty good. So that's one coat of Feathered Hair Out to There. So the next one I have is Meet Me at the Rink. This is a vibrant pastel blue, a sky blue color. Um, this one was sheer on the first coat. I don't know if you can actually see how sheer that is. And it's kind of streaky. Well, it's very streaky, not kind of. And we'll just see how that one comes out on the next coat. The next polish is called Digging It the Dancing Queen. And this is so pretty. This one is a bright pastel lavender cream and it is absolutely beautiful. I love these lavender colors. I didn't swatch this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so this one is kind of streaky too. I kind of messed that up myself, but we're gonna let that stay there. So that is one coat of Digging the Dancing Queen. So the next polish I have is called Disco's Not Dead. This is a beautiful orangey yellow pastel cream. Um, I really like this one a lot. I love these really bright colors like this. So let's see what it looks like on the swatch. I heard some people saying that this one was, if I'm not mistaken, when I saw a video of this one, they said it was like yellow, but to me it looks like an orangey, kind of a peachy color. It's very streaky. But we'll see what it looks like on the next coat. So the next polish is called Hot 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 Pants. This one to me looks like a pastel peach cream. It's so pretty. I love these colors. Uh, and I just think the black on the bottle just makes it look, look even prettier because it's so bright. Now let's see what it looks like on the swatch. Oh, yes. Now these are, this one, these are neon pastels, so they're supposed to be really bright. I think I'll use too much on that one but it is leveling itself out. It's still a little splotchy there. I don't know if you can see that very well. All right, so that is Hot 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 Pants. So the next one I wanna show you is called Till the Record Stops, and this one is a beautiful pastel green color, and it's absolutely gorgeous. This one is just calling my name. It is so pretty and beautiful. And it just looks like a, like a baby green color. It's so pretty. Let's see what it looks like. This is, this is my first time swatching these two. I haven't seen these actually in person at all. All right. So it's very, very sheer. And it's leveling itself out. The formula is okay. Now guys, this is the swatch wheel, so you know what I always say. On the swatch wheel will be different sometimes than on your actual nail. So this one leveled itself out pretty good. It's a little streaky, but it's all right. The next polish is Under the Black Light. This one to me looks like one of those highlighter pens that you use when you're, um, when you're in school and you're highlighting stuff in your book. That's what it looks like to me. It's absolutely gorgeous. Mm, okay, let's see. Yep, that's what it looks like. So pretty. Okay. So 
So it's a little streaky, maybe the brush. I like this brush. Some of the brushes I didn't like, the, the purple brush I didn't like at all. So those kind of look like the same color, except this one looks like it's really brighter than this one, but they're different colors, I promise you. All right, so that's what it looks like there. So the next polish is Poetic Hues. To me, this looks like a yellowish beige color that has some white in it. That's what it looks like to me. What do you think? Looks more beige than anything though. So let's see what it looks like. All right, so there it is. It's a little splotchy. It may be that I touched the um, wheel and had some oil on my hand, but looks a little splotchy right there to me. We'll see what the next one looks like, the next coat rather. All right, so we're gonna start back over. I'm actually gonna start with Poetic Hues because that's actually the first one I have on the swatch wheel here so that you can, I don't have to worry about touching any of these on this side. All right, so let's go ahead and do another coat of Poetic Hues, which really to me doesn't need another coat, but I'm gonna do it anyway just to be on the safe side. All right, so let's get this one. One more coat of Poetic Hues. Uh, I don't think it needed another coat, but it did make it a little bit darker all right so that's what it looks like so guys i apologize for the lighting situation i don't know what's going on with my camera today so um we're gonna just go ahead and finish up this one is feathered hair out to there so let's go ahead and get this swatch and this is going to be the second coat All right, so. Hmm. Still looks a little streaky to me, I think. Well, let it level itself out a little bit. Okay, so on the swatch wheel, that is opaque in two coats. All right, and we're gonna, don't worry about this one. I'm gonna come back. I put the wrong color on top of this one, but I had another one on the other side. So we're not gonna worry about this one. We'll redo that one later. The next one is Meet Me at the Rink. Uh, this one was very sheer. It's still a little sheer on this one. Okay, so I think this is gonna require one more coat. I don't know if you can tell, but I can definitely see a little streakage going on. So I'm gonna do one more coat on that one. Digging the Dancing Queen. Second coat, Digging the Dancing Queen. That is so pretty. Okay. So, I still see a little bit of streaks, a little streakage on there. So I'm gonna do a third coat for this one also. Disco's not dead. Okay, I think I needed some more polish on there. Let's see, Oop, too much polish that time. So this one I think, well, I don't know if that's, because I put a lot of polish on. But this one is pretty much opaque. I do see a little spot right there, but I don't know for sure. It's a little spot right in there somewhere on the end over here. But I think it's, le well, it's leveling itself out. So I think that's gonna be good with two coats on the swatch wheel. Hot, hot, hot pants. This is gorgeous. 
and this one seems to be opaque in two coats on the swatch wheel till the record stops So I think this is going to need one more coat because I still see a little bit of streakage even though I keep going over it. <laughs> Under the black light. So... That's going to require one more coat also. Alright, so let's do Party Till Dawn again. This is the matte one. And it's in a matte bottle, so you know that it's matte. That one still has a little bit of streaks in it, so I'm going to do one more coat on that one also. It's leveling itself out, but I still think it needs um, one more coat. Three wishes. Three wishes. Now, in my opinion, it depends on your application with this one. I think that if you did a thick enough coat, you could probably get away with one coat. I did a regular coat on it, and it looks almost completely opaque. So I'm going to do a second coat. Yeah, that's all I think you'll need on that. It, on the swatch wheel, that's what it looks like. That the second coat made it completely opaque. And it is so beautiful. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Wow. Invite only. I really don't think that you need to put a second coat on this one. Only if you wanted it to be a little more glitter on there. I'm not going to add any more on this one because this is a topper. And I don't think you would need any more than what's already on there. So... I'm not adding any more to this one. All right, so let's get back to these. I'm going to do another coat of Till the Record Stops because it's still streaky. Okay. I just don't like the formula on this one at all. It's not a good formula, so I don't know. The color is beautiful, but the formula sucks and it still looks like it has streaks. I'm not doing another coat though. My limit is three. So that's what it looks like and I can still see some streaks on this side. Hopefully that's not going to level itself out at all. I don't think it's leveling itself out, but it's not going to cover that streak. At least I don't think so. We'll have to come back and see once it dries. All right. Um, the pink... Looks to me like it's opaque, but I think that's just because it's on the swatch wheel. So we're going to be good with that one. And that is feathered hair out to there, right here. And meet me at the rink seems to be okay in two coats. So digging the dancing queen, I think needs another coat because it's a little sheer still at the bottom down there. But I think mm, three coats should do it. And I'm using a thicker third coat, so take that for what it's worth on the swatch wheel. But it definitely made it completely opaque. Disco's Not Dead needs a third coat also. I almost put it on the wrong one. I am not liking these formulas on here at all. I don't know. Maybe they'll be better when I try them on my nails. All right, so that is three coats of Disco's Not Dead. It seems to be okay. Hot, hot, hot pants is opaque in two coats. No need to put anything else on that one because it is perfect. Till the record stop definitely needs another coat. I'm using a thicker coat this time. Alright, 
so that made it opaque I don't see any little streaks or anything so it seems to be pretty good under the black light needs another coat using a thicker coat this time opaque in three coats and absolutely beautiful and that's without any of the white polishes underneath maybe if you use white polishes underneath there would be opaque in two coats only okay that's one I made by mistake so we're not gonna worry about that one let's do what oh look how pretty that is oh my god under here it doesn't look like it needs another coat, but when I put it up to the light, it definitely needs one more coat. So we're gonna do one more coat of the matte party till dawn. This is beautiful. I may have to put this on today. All right, so we're gonna just put that on there and let that dry so we can see what it looks like matte. That is gorgeous. Oh. Definitely don't need another coat of Three Wishes that's opaque in two coats. And then Invite Only is opaque in one coat. Well, not opaque, but it's good with one coat. And the last thing I want to show you is this uh, Color Club Plush Coat Shine and Plump Top Coat. I don't know what that's going to be like. I'll give it a try and I'll let you know what I think about it. All right, guys, so that is it. Those are all of the colors I have from the color club that they have at Walmart. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>